there's a spot like right there, but I can't really see much. It's got some sweet views over there. We're gonna keep bumping our way up here to the top. So we made it through that little rough patch. Uh, I think we normally camp like right over in here. I'm gonna go up a little bit further and see if this other one's available. It's just a little bit bigger. This is a super bumpy trail. Super bumpy. Check it out. Saw one forerunner back there about oh 500 yards or so. But I think the spot that I always camp at is like right up here. Trails. Something else. Getting a little rough part here, so I might have to let you go. Alright, so we're kind of working our way up to the top. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, this is the spot that I normally camp at, and it is available, so I'm going to snag it. Almost every time, I, no, actually, every single time I've come up here. The spot has been available. We are definitely going to come over here and get it. It's got some awesome views. You can see. It's just Moose and Me. This might be the first episode of the Moose and Me channel. But you can see why I like this one. It's up on top of the hill a little bit. Um, I think last time I pulled right in here. A little wind break. I think I'm gonna do that again. That was all right. As you can see, it's pretty freaking awesome here. Everybody say hi to Moose. Long car ride, so get a little water, a little food. Let him off the leash. She's already getting bad on me, so. He does like to go walk around everywhere. Ooh, it's warm. It's probably, say 75, maybe warmer. I'll have to look. All right, well, we got Grandpa parked right here. I'm about to set this up. Let's see what views we can show you. Oh, yeah. See the Sangre de Cristos back there. But this is our spot. There's a lot of cactus here, which is why I don't like to let moose run around. Because he will come back with the cactus in his feet. Moosey, stay over here. So the first thing we do is crack a beer. <clears throat> well, I do. Moose doesn't. He just he just has a little water and some food. But I crack a beer. So our our camp supply has been diminished due to some falling out of relationships and things like that. So I'm down to this crappy old Amazon fridge, but it seems to be working pretty good. I think it's holding steady about 29, 20, 29 degrees. But we have to keep an eye on moose because once he gets out here gets a little antsy to go run around so. and no e-collars those weren't mine so like I said they're we're coming up here with like bare minimum we're gonna have to do a little starting over from scratch you'd be good Moosey so I found a good use for the d-ring here on that while I uh, get this my camper set up because if I don't he will wander 
And like I said, I don't have the e-collars today. So, get this eye camper set up. Okay, so this eye camper, I've had it for like October. So, October, November, December, January, six months now. And overall, I love it. It's big. It's got tons of space. This is the iCamper 2.0. This is not the iCamper Mini, the Sky Camp Mini. This is the big one. And overall, I love it. It's spacious. It rides great on top of the Jeep. Got a very low profile. Uh, the wind doesn't blow you over or anything like that. So. I am getting a little wear and tear though, which is weird on this one strap over here. It's like the threads are kind of tearing a little bit up here. But it's kind of where you pull these, when you put it up, you pull these cords down. These little cords right here. And they go around the sides straps you have to grab that one and secure it I think the first time I used it uh, one of the first times was here actually and the wind was blowing like it is now and I didn't secure these straps and they were banging around all night there's like a little squeaky noise it comes right from here I don't know if you can hear it but it comes from these little guys if you got like a rubber band or something and just wrapped it around there. Yeah. But overall, it's great. So I love the size. I love it when it folds down. It's aerodynamic on the Jeep because you know how Jeeps are in the wind. So that's definitely the pluses. The minuses, a little wear and tear already for $4,000 tent. So it's kind of disheartening. But um, I'll show you more of the inside here in just a bit. So, Adventures of Moose and me. And he still wants to wander. So, like I said, no wee collars. But it's a gorgeous day. Gorgeous. So just take a moose for a little walk. It's a really cool campsite, like right up the trail. It just pulls me so hard. They can't freaking control themselves. So. Ow, moose, stop. Moose. Moose. One thing about the banks is it's got some really great views. It's always nice here. The wind even died. We're gonna go over to this canyon and see if we can get a little view here. So check this canyon out. <clears throat> Me and Moose are just hiking around. <clears throat> As you can see, he's he is tired already. No, Moosey, you ain't going off the canyon. But it's beautiful. We're still hiking around, trying to wear this guy out a little bit. He's a little anxious after that car ride pulling. One thing I'm working on, trying to get him to stay with me. Not stop pulling. I could just let him off the leash all the time. This is our. Uh, spot right here you can see the jeep coming around there moose is killing me there's cactus everywhere too and it's why well, i really don't want to let him run around because uh, last time we were here, he got cactus in his feet. 
Not just once, but like two or three times. So. Hey everybody, we are here in Stephen King City. And this is the Banks Trail. Let's see if I can get a good view of this. Ooh, look at this thing. So the Banks is right outside of Canyon City. And it is one of my favorite go-to places. Um, Moose wants to say hi. So, whoops. Oh, hi, Moose. Whenever I do any filming or anything, I put him on this collar. Just because he gets a little out of control. So, today we're going to do a product review. I like to do, like, reviews of... The products that I do use, and today we're going to do Jet Boil. Um, Jet Boil is a super quick way to boil water and to make coffee. Um, I've used it many times, I've had one before. This is my second one. I just picked it up from the Sportsman's Warehouse, and big kudos to Sportsman's Warehouse because they are pet friendly. So you can bring your you can bring your dog in there. Mr. Moose went with me. Um, got him on the leash just so I can do this video. But uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing. They did have one that came with the coffee press. I don't know if this is the right one or not. They only had two over there. They had a black one and they had this camouflage one. So I picked the camouflage one up because it's a little different haven't seen it before so today it's jet boil review I'm gonna try to do this with one hand while I hold this phone so let's take this back part off I said I don't know if this has the coffee press in it or not hopefully I don't like taking stuff apart in the store. I don't know. I just really like that. I don't like doing that. So we took that cardboard out. Let's see if I can get this out. I might have to put it in pause here. All right, so got the jet boil out of the box. I'm gonna take the top off here. Let's see what's inside. Thinking is does not have the press in it, but oh well, we'll go back and get it. I think you can get the press for an accessory or like I don't know, jet boil stuff's pricey, so probably twenty bucks or something like that. So it does come with an awesome sticker. Oh, look at that! Oh yay! I'm gonna put that right there right now. I've got a million stickers at home, and I have not. Put any of them on yet but we're gonna put this one on put that in there so it won't blow away Let's see if i can take this out with one hand sorry it's just a little stuck to see. yeah it does not come with the press so Comes with the little burner, and that is it. It was 120 bucks. So tomorrow we'll probably be going into town to get coffee. So for 120 bucks, you just get the burner and the little stand. There's a little stand right there. So I did buy the coffee pot or the coffee cup and the little jet boil propane thing separate, but I'll get this set up and we will do some, boil some water. How's that? All right. So like I said, this one did not come with the press. Sorry, Moose is barking because there's some visitors. All right. So. This one does not come with the coffee press, so I guess tomorrow we will be getting coffee in town. But, 
comes with a little stand you put on the propane tank and you do have to buy the propane tank separate so it comes with the stand comes with the little heater it comes with the cup it comes with this little and this top so I think that was 120 bucks and I think the one I had before was 140 and it came with the coffee press but you can't buy the coffee press separate so we are going to see how long it takes for some ramen noodles all right, so it just got lit. Same problem I had with the last one, the little igniter thing for some reason is a pain in the butt. I think last time we had to like clip it or file it down or bend it down. I think we bent it down for it to work. Uh, I usually just use my lighter on them anyway. So, and when this little thing right here, this turns red that means it's ready so it says a hundred seconds so I am going to get the timer going it just started so we're about 15 20 seconds in we'll see so as you can see the little red thing is starting to go up so looks like it's pretty much pretty much ready that took like no time at all see it going up it's going when it goes all the way up I'm guessing yeah so it's, starts out with none of that little orange right there and then it goes all the way up to the top so it looks like it's ready to go and that was pretty much spot on so but that is the jet boil all right so it's next morning Sun is out. It's warming up. And we're going to pack this eye camper up. Get out of here.